It's an honor to be with you. All of you. So in the last month, although now it's May, I have been just folding you into my own personal practice, my own personal spiritual practice. And it's a pretty simple practice. Um, and it's daily, but it's varied. Um, and today I'm going to take you along the ride of what I have to focus on in my own personal practice today. <clears throat> And that is, um, I've been doing a lot of internal work and contemplation on addiction. Um, I run trauma healing work. And in my trauma healing work, I come across, obviously I come across addiction very often. Um, and so there are themes that I work with. Um, at some point I'll have a group of people that are working with narcissistic abuse and I'll, it's like the divine universe gives me like several experiences and expressions of narcissistic abuse. And I'm like, wow, okay, this is how it manifests. And this is how, I'm, and this is one of the effects. And I feel like I'm constantly um, having the privilege to be trained by the, the divine order of the universe on different topics and what underlies different topics. And so the topics of the month um, for me has been addiction. What is addiction? Addiction to substances that we're supposed to live without, um, addiction to things that we're supposed to live with um, as someone who's been what I say in recovery from bulimia um, for 32 years now, it's something I never really identified with, to be honest with you. I mean, I saw it as a thing I kicked many years ago, um, but just the concept of eating disorder recovery is something that I've probably in the last few years since doing office hours and having lots of discussions have redefined that for myself. Um, when I was in the hospital um, for bulimia, when I was um, 15 years old, I was in with all of those with drug addiction and alcohol addiction. It was treated as an addiction. Um, and so I'm very familiar with treat addiction treatment in that sense. And then fast forward 32 years, as I look at people who struggle now with marijuana becoming legal, um, like marijuana addictions and smoking marijuana all day and plant medicine ceremonies that were supposed to be once a year, but now are once a month and different experience of how we as spiritual beings relate to the substance or the relationships in our lives from the filter and the viewpoint of addiction. So I'm really good with not knowing. I think that's what keeps my spiritual questioning and seeking um, right front and center is I don't know. And I'm not looking for a specific answer. I'm looking to build a data set through which I can be of service and continue building my data sets until I can uh, develop some level of mastery some way so I can be of service. Um, and so as I take you into this, that's, I didn't get a chance yet to do my practice. That's what Wednesday mornings with you generally are. Is this okay? What's living in my heart? Oh, addiction, my own relationship to sugar, my own experience of um, watching three teenagers um, go through high school, public high school, my own experience of having friends who choose to use substance, my choice not to use substance, like all of that is just with me without the really truly without the, this is good and this is bad and this is right and this is wrong and this should be and this shouldn't be. So without the duality of it, but simply the living with this, this concept. And so 
I always believe that things come to my general awareness because I'm supposed to work on behalf of the planet. Like, who am I? And then there's the part of me that's like, who are you, Kim, to think that you're going to be clearing addiction from the planet? Um, but yeah, I do believe that if I'm working something within myself, then I, I want to work it for the planet. I want to work it for my children. I want to work it for my clients and for my yoga farm community and for E eternity for the, for wiping it off in, in my studies, I've read these books um, from the 1930s on the, I am discourses from St. Germain, which is where I found the violet flame. And um, so in that space, um, we would call this interference, the interference of lack of being truly sovereign. Um, and being able to regain freedom. So as I try on what's not addiction, I try on this feeling of wanting humanity and my people. Humanity seems so broad, but it's like my people. Wanting my people to be free and sovereign and not pulled by anything that's lower frequency than they are. That's the intention that I'm taking into my prayer work this morning of just really wanting sovereignty and freedom. I think every soul wants love and freedom. I, I mean, maybe that might be my projection, but love and freedom is generally what I find souls want. It's not really more money. It's just sovereignty, freedom, and love. And addiction research has been showing that as well. Like a, a safe connection is typically what's lacking in the space of those who have addiction issues. It's really this, this, this need for connection and care and love. So I'll invite you to come into um, prayer work and meditation. And I do prayer work. I don't say the word prayer because I see myself as a bridge to those who are recovering from religious trauma, but I do prayer work every morning. Um, and I see prayer as like my expression outward to source and to the universe. And I feel that meditation is my receptivity. And a lot of the guided meditations that I do with you on SoundCloud aren't really, in my opinion, meditations. We're not in meditations until we're still and silent and in a space of receptivity, which is why the bless me meditations are really what I use to receive from source. So let's do that now together if you'll join me. So if you will, close your eyes and come into your breath and feel your body. Everything is just a holographic expression of us. And the way that we heal the world is to heal the seed of our connection to the world within ourselves. And it's through that that we create a ripple. So you being still and connecting to the essence, the soul essence of you. And as you breathe into you, as you come into your breath, you feel your connection. Take a nice long exhale. And if you will connect with your intention as it relates maybe to this topic or another topic that's living within you right now. So we're going to start with some forgiveness. Whenever there's discord, one of the ways that we can clear karma, which is what we're talking about, interference and karma, is through the law of forgiveness. 
So just hold your heart, if you will, around the topic or the issue, or if you'll join me in praying upon addiction, in transmuting and alchemizing the slavery of addiction with the intention to replace addiction with sovereignty and freedom and self-sustainment and love. When you, if you will, begin by calling upon your I am presence, the I am that I am, the I am that you are, deep breath into your heart, and just say, I am my I am presence, and I am one with the presence of all of humanity, specifically those struggling with addiction, including alcohol, drug, food, relationship, sex, porn, and any other addiction, shopping, attention. I am one with all of these people, past, present, and future, and therefore I say these prayers on behalf of all of us. I am my I am presence, invoking the full power of the violet flame to transmute the cause, core, effect, record, and memory of every thought, feeling, word, and action we have ever expressed in any time frame or dimension, both known or unknown, that reflects this karma of addiction. And I replace addiction with the pure love of the divine, the sovereignty, the power and the strength and the resilience of the divine and the pure wisdom. And I hold this violet flame around this issue of addiction on this planet and the history and the lineage of addiction here in this planet. Any substance that was used in replacement of God. And I just envision addiction and all of its causes and effects and record and memory, all of the akash of addiction in the violet flame. And as I hold it on the, in the violet flame, I say the prayer of forgiveness, divine for me, my lineages and all of humanity who have struggled with addiction throughout all time, past, present, and future. Please help us forgive all people. Please help all people to forgive us. Please help us to forgive each other and to forgive ourselves. Please help us to release each other and to release ourselves. Please help us to be at peace with each other and to be at peace with ourselves. Please help us to love each other and to love ourselves. Please, divine, thank you, divine, amen. Deep breath, blowing the violet flame in through and around your lineage, your past lineage, male, female. So you just send the violet flame into the space behind you, purifying your lineage, and then send it to the past humanity lineage behind you. Now, if you will, send the violet flame down below you into the earth, into humanity's past on this planet. And as you send the violet flame into the earth, clear humanity's imprint of addiction on this planet now. Deep blow out of the violet flame into the earth, connecting to the iron crystal core of the earth, purifying this earth and all who have walked this earth with the trouble of addiction, 
replacing it with sovereignty, love, resilience, strength, wisdom of the divine. And as you keep that connection, holding the connection up to divine source, feeling yourself held in the column of light. Now, if you will, exhale the violet flame to the space in front of you, to the future. Sending it into whatever your consciousness draws your awareness to. Sending it into the teenagers with developing brains, into the childhoods, into the childhood trauma, into all of the variables that make someone susceptible to addiction, purifying that immediately with a violet flame, the root cause and core, straight into the DNA of all of humanity. Sending it forward into the social emotional relationships of all humanity. Seeing all humans fully awakened, enlightened, aware, solid, so that addiction consciousness can't touch them, fully resilient and free from the lineage karma. Sending the violet flame forward. So feeling the violet flame on the vertical plane above, below, and within your heart, sending it on the horizontal plane forward, back, present. And as you hold the sacred fire and the care within your heart that connects to anybody who has had addiction or suffers from addiction past, present, or that which you fear in the future. Just allow from the space within your heart to ripple out and to radiate the violet consuming flame into every life ever touched through the millennium. Begin to feel the sadness or whatever it was in your heart be replaced with the pure power of the divine light within you that ripples out now. Purifying, sanctifying, making sacred. And if you will, hold the vision of no one really even giving it a moment like, remember when everybody used to smoke and it was a thing and now people are like, oh, you smoke? Just like that. Play that vibration in your body. Like, oh, people just don't do that anymore. That's not a thing. We've raised above that consciousness. We don't need that. You're sovereign and whole and awakened and fully within the bliss of Ananda Maya Kosha, our bliss layer of our bodies. Just feel that. Hold that potential and just watch people being released by the from the chains of addiction, fully released. And see the divine beings, the angels, the ascended masters, all of the divine beings assisting across the planet, past, present, and future. Watch Buddha and Jesus and Archangel Michael this sword, just hold the vision of whatever divine beings you're connected with, doing the work on this planet, releasing each and every person from the lineage of addiction. Feel it in your body, if you will, as the violet flame pours forth. And if you will hold this 
vibration, as I say a few clearing prayers, to all addiction, you have no power. Stay out of our world. Our world is the world of the I am. It is governed by and held obedient to my I am presence. No human thing can touch it. We stand free, forever free from all human qualities of addiction, the cause, the root, the effect. Mighty I am, your authority is an action in our human world. We claim your perfection as the only governing presence of our minds, our bodies, our feeling worlds. Divine I am, hold us purified, beautified, and free from all discord, from all addiction. So that the divine light may pour forth and bless each and every human, each and every lineage, fully free from addiction. And as you let that prayer continue to work, we'll say, addiction is nothing. Therefore, there is nothing within me that accepts it. There is nothing within humanity that accepts it. There is only the presence of the divine acting in my and every human's mind and body. Therefore, in divine's activity, there is no more addiction. Just see it being released fully and completely. There is only divine in action everywhere present. And as you hold this big vision of the light, replacing the space where the addiction was, begin now to envision the light going into the template of the human DNA for every person's DNA. And begin now to send the violet flame to root out any DNA cause. Just picture those chromosomes filled with light, pure white light substance. See the chromosomes filled with God. The frequency of the divine. And as you hold this vision, feel that in your body, yourself and your lineage completely released from any addiction, from any feeling good by something outside of yourself. Allowing you to be forever free from any substance, person, thing, And as you pour the light into your DNA or this DNA template that you're trying on in your body, send it out, ripple it out now. Like a software update that now goes out to every iPhone, every person's body in humanity. Just hold it. Just as easily as technology can do a software update to millions of phones, see the light that you just poured into the DNA be distributed out now to all of humanity. Allow the divine to do that software update through you and your intention and your love. Through us. if you'll just hold there.
Continuing to feel that and to see that, that ripple. However that looks for you. And as you sit here, begin now to receive whatever messages, whatever light, substance, whatever love. Just now place yourselves in the place of complete receptivity, pure opening to divine light, source energy, wisdom, love, healing. Let every in-breath receive. And now, if you will, go into the space of pure gratitude, if you can feel the blessings that have poured through you today, or whether you didn't feel it, just pour your gratitude out to your I am that you are, to the divine beings. the light that you just grounded for the interference that you cleared off of the planet. Deep gratitude. And as you seal this in your field, 
I give you, each of you, deep gratitude for sharing this practice, this profound practice, and this clearing on the earth that we did together. I'll seal this by saying, and so it is.